YouTube, what is good? It is your boy, Trent, I suppose, AKA the dark skin, lonely jabroni, AKA, you know what it is, back with another vid for you guys today. I didn't put a video out last week because I actually, I just bought a new car. My old car was, had to go. I didn't have no heat in the car. I didn't have no heat all last winter in my car. And it was a stick shift. I was getting annoyed driving stick shift all the time. It's literally like a job driving a stick shift. They're fun to drive, but, I was over it, so um, I had to get some automatic. I got a 2007 Honda Civic, all black. We about to, we about to put in some work with that. I'm probably about to throw some tits, some black wheels on it, you know, check it out. All right, guys, so first up, you know I had to hit my ultimate, all-time favorite mall store. You already know what it is, H&M. It's definitely one of my favorite stores. Lately, they've been kind of doing a little too much. The homie Real J. Nero just posted a um, H&M pickup bid. And I commented, I'm like, yo, H&M is just doing a little too much. He agreed, like, H&M, I love H&M, but they, they try to fit in too much. It's kind of getting annoying, if you know what I mean. It's like they want to do all the new trends and with the whole elongated and the zips. No offense, no, because I, I, I like all that stuff. But, like, H&M is a place you go to, like, get some classy, like, nice... You know, like nice pieces, not you know streetwear. Really, H and M is was never really like a streetwear store like years ago when I used to shop there. But I mean, nonetheless, H and M still my favorite store to shop at. So first, I got this um, this tannish. I don't even know what you would call this, but it is dope as hell. This tan hoodie right here. I'm gonna show all you guys this uh, what everything looks like on. But it's just this tan hoodie. There it is. Um, the camera probably doesn't pick up how tan it is. It probably looks gray on camera. But yeah, just a regular tan zip hoodie with the white drawstrings. Um, H&M, this costs $25. I got this olive green zip up hoodie from H&M. Um, this is definitely a fall color. Had to get uh, a green hoodie. I was gonna cop that, um, who is Jacob? Uh, side split green pullover hoodie, but I really wasn't trying to drop like, I think it was like $70 or something like that. I wasn't really trying to drop $70 on a hoodie. Shout out to him though, I fuck with everything he puts out. And um, eventually I'll probably get it later on in the fall, but just for now, just cop this green regular zip up hoodie. This costs $20. See that I'm not about to focus it for you, but that was 20 bucks. Next piece I got from HM is a gray, just a basic gray crew neck um, shirt. It's hella bright, you probably can't even see that it's gray, it probably looks white to you. But once again, I am going to put everything on. Zoom in. Just a basic, it's kind of like Heather Gray. This costs $13. Um, they do have a sale going on at H&M, a Columbus Day sale, so I suggest you guys check that out ASAP. Next up, I went to Old Navy. A lot of you guys sleep on Old Navy. You don't always gotta go for the, the high expensive brands. Old Navy got some, some, some stuff in there, some essentials. Some essentials, not gonna lie. And um, this next piece is something that I've wanted for a little while now. I was gonna go buy one of these. I think it was from, not Represent Clothing. I forgot what brand it was, but it was a green bomber jacket that I wanted, but it was like a, it was like a hundred something dollars. And then I seen this one at Old Navy online and I was gonna cop it. I'm like, nah, let me wait. And um, I actually was at the mall today and seen this the jacket. This green bomber at Old Navy, it was on sale for like 30% off. The regular price is like $59. 30% off, it came to like $30 something dollars, so I had to cop. It's just this green bomber jacket right here. Got the orange end size. Just your basic green bomber jacket. Um, like I said, this is another dope fall piece. If you guys want to get a green bomber jacket and don't want to spend mad bread, go check out um, Old Navy. You can go online, they got everything online. Like You don't have to spend $200, $150 on a bomber jacket. This is the same exact thing, it's all gonna look alike. I mean, I think the, the um, I forgot what brand it is, the one that has like the, the little red tag on the, on the sleeve that hangs off, I forgot what it was.
that's my thing. I'll buy inexpensive stuff and then rock it like it's designer, you know what I mean? It's not about the clothes you have, it's about how you wear the clothes. I try to tell people that all the time. Uh, but anyways, next up at Old Navy, I just got this flannel. Once again, everything at Old Navy was on sale. This flannel was originally $29.99. It was on sale, came to like $19. So this is definitely, I love flannels, I love button ups. Rock a t-shirt under this, or just rock it buttoned up, either or classic look. Um, these is, this is definitely one of my, I love the green and blue combination on a flannel. So definitely, I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of that. Another piece at Old Navy I got is another flannel, just another basic. I'm sure you guys seen this pattern like a bajillion times before. Just your basic red, blue, green flannel. I like wearing button t-shirts with, you know, basic t-shirts under it. Like, you seen in my last Fit of the Day video, just a basic flannel with a shirt under it. Next piece I have is this, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have a against all odds in your mall. I mean, I go there every now and again to see what they have, but they did have this dope black pullover hoodie with the gold zips on the side. The price tag for this was only $19.99. Like, how could I pass that up? Here it is right here. It has the black gold tips on the uh, strings. I might take these off. That's a little too much gold for me. Because usually I'll have my gold necklaces on or have both my gold necklaces on and have them hanging out. So I don't really need these gold tips. So I might either just take the tips off or take the strings out completely. I'm not sure yet. I did cop a pair of kicks today. Um, these are something I've been wanting all year. Just never got around to copping them. Finally did. I'm talking about these all black Harachis. Um, I do have the all white ones. I'm sure you've seen that in my videos. But definitely need an all black pair for the fall. Um, yeah, you guys, you guys know what this looks like. Just an all black Harachi. I also plan on my goal for this fall is to cop a pair of black Yeezy Boost. I'm copping a pair, I don't care. I don't care how much I gotta pull. I'm not gonna pay rate. My goal is to, you know, probably trade a pair of Jordans and throw some bread on top of it. Um, they're not they're, they're not too, too high right now as the hype was when they first released. So I'm pretty sure I can get them for a decent price. I'll probably throw a pair of kicks on like $200 and hopefully Give me some more. I can get a pair. So I'll be more. rotating between these and Give the Black Yeezys. Hopefully I can Give get a pair of Black Yeezys. That sums up today's pickup video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Peace out. Make sure you like this video. Go like that. Go like this video right now. Where's the like button? All right, if I'm on, if you're watching on YouTube, the like button is right here. Yeah, so like that button. Hit the subscribe. I think the subscribe. Subscribe is over here, I think. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, make sure you go follow me on Instagram at Trini I Suppose. Follow me on Twitter at Trini I Suppose. Yeah, peace.